It's our final report from the Nama Fall Conference in St. Louis. Hello everyone, I'm Max Armstrong. If you've caught some of my reports in the past from Nama meetings, you've heard me say, if you miss a Nama conference, you miss a lot. Well, more than 200 members didn't miss this one. They were on hand for all of the activities, including the networking that is provided through Nama membership. We went to the Brighton Agency for the Tuesday evening get together there, the reception just a couple of blocks away from the Ritz Carlton Hotel where the conference was held. There at Brighton, I talked with Tina Vonderhaar about the kind of value that an employer sees in the National Agri Marketing Association. We've been very actively involved with NAMA ever since I joined the agency about 15 years or so ago. Um, it's a valuable part of our training program to get anybody who is in our ag team that wants to be involved included in it. We have people that are serving on leadership positions, which is fantastic. And um, it's a really unique opportunity. I'm fortunate, fortunate enough to work with a number of our industries. So at Brighton, we work in ag. We also do things in healthcare and in consumer products. Agriculture is the only one of those industries that has such an organization like NAMA where all of the agencies and marketing professionals within that one industry get together a couple times a year to share ideas, to share learnings. Uh, I actually do think our other industries could learn a lot from it because we're searching for those opportunities in healthcare, in pet, in consumer packaged goods, and they're just not there. So I think NAMA is a unique thing, and I don't know if the people in the agriculture industry realize what a gem they have by having an organization that gets together and supports marketing for agriculture. Our thanks to Tina and the folks at Brighton for their warm hospitality while we were here for the fall conference in the Gateway City. The closing session featured an inspiring presentation by Dr. Jacqueline Applegate of Bayer. She talked about through the lens of leadership and specifically about what she called the optics of leadership. She sat out with me to explain just what she meant. Often optics can be misinterpreted, the optics of the way something sees, but I really want to get to the heart of how a leader needs to have different lenses um, while they're leading and while you're working in an organization to really, you know, see, you know, the, the, the short term, the up close, have the ability to pull out. And optics really stands for, um, is about um, openness, about being purpose driven. It's also about trust. It's also about imagination. Um, and it's also about being customer centric. And it's also about using the soft skills. I asked Dr. Applegate specifically what she was speaking about when she talked about the soft skills. Soft skills is really about how you show up with people. Um, I think, you know, in business, leaders can be caught up in the day-to-day -day of making their numbers, what they're doing, but it's really about showing people how much you care that you're taking the time to listen, that you're there for them, that you have humility, um, to be also vulnerable as a leader um, and admit that you don't know everything. And because I always say that, you know, diversity and inclusion is a really key element of bringing all the right people to the table. And, and I would say that when you think about marketing, people normally do not, they take in logical facts, but normally they make decisions based on emotion and feeling. So it's important that you connect with the heart and the mind follows. Dr. Applegate and her work for Bayer has been overseas in New Zealand, Australia, France, and Germany. And now she's back in the United States. Well, look for photos from this NAMA conference at NAMA Flickr. And be sure and mark on your calendar next year's NAMA conference in April. The 15th through the 17th of 2020, we'll be in San Diego. We'll look for you there. This is Max Armstrong with our Hustle Report from St. Louis for This Week in Agribusiness.